This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2007 Ford F550 Crew Cab Dually, obviously. Um, it's uh, got 151,050 actual miles. It was, it's a six liter turbo diesel, four wheel drive um, Lariat. It was a trade in to Friendly Ford in Las Vegas that we purchased from them. And when it was there, they screwed up and they left a zero out on the uh, uh, reporting process to auto check and we're in the middle of fixing. I'll show you that in a minute. But be careful when you're reporting mileage because you'll screw yourself. Um, anyway, uh, really cool truck. Let me go through this thing. First of all, um, we had to take it to uh, our shop, Monsoon. They did a crankshaft uh, front oil seal, it had an oil leak. And they service the transmission as part of that because they had to disconnect uh, tranny lines, so you might as well do a tranny service while you're doing it. Um, and they service the differentials, and uh, then we sent it to the detail. Now, uh, what we know about this truck. First of all, we know that the driver door has been painted. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's not terrible, but it's not great. Okay, we know that. If you look at it like that, you can tell. But the lines look great, but we do, do know that it's been painted on that door. Um, I'm going to walk around this thing. My job in these videos isn't tell you, to tell you how great it is. Um, it's really to point out what's wrong. Someone thought it would be a good idea to paint the grill. Fortunately, these things are really cheap. If you want to go back to a chrome one, you can get it at an aftermarket for you know 50 or 60 bucks. Then they snap in in about five minutes, if you care. Um, really really cool truck it runs great uh the next things that you need to know about this truck is that it doesn't have a cat no catalytic converter and see where the exhaust right there ends it to make make it through emissions it's got to come out the back of the truck so if you're an arizona buyer you're going to be required to get emissions equipment and that means that we have to uh get a cat for it and get that extension done it's going to be about 550 bucks to do that um if you're an arizona buyer that's mandatory and that will be added to the deal if you're from out of state and you don't want us to do it uh or if you want us to do it let us know and we'll do it and we'll add 550 okay um you don't have to if you're from california please know what you're doing don't be the California guy who buys it, gets it there, and says, I can't get it through emissions. Don't be that guy, please. Um, tailgate looks like it's been shot also, but that's kind of not, that's very common because everyone takes them off and does the fifth wheel thing, and then they get dinged up, and then they half-ass paint them and whatever. Um, here's the next part. See this rear end? That's a Dana Spicer rear end in a Link Ultra Ride air suspension that for whatever reason has been disconnected. So when we go on this test drive, basically I got no suspension back here. It's nice and rough. Why didn't we fix it? Well, we tried to send it to Rush Auto Center, Truck Center, and they're like four months out on fixing it. I said, is it worth fixing or should we just put some you know, factory shocks and springs, the whole bit in it? And they said, oh my God, it's a fortune, fix it. I said, okay, fix it. <laughs> and they said, we can't, <laughs> not, not, not this year, maybe in January or February. So, there you go. Here's the other thing that just happened. Someone stole our gas cap, and I don't know how we're gonna find a gas cap for that. But, uh, like I said, these videos aren't for uh, telling you how great everything is. It's really to tell you what's wrong. Um, as usual, you have peeling paint on the top of one of these uh, fender flares in the rear. Um, there's your link suspension. This stuff is expensive. That rear end, Dana Spicer, just the housing without any guts is 7,600, uh, which I have links for. I can show you what I'm talking about. Let me get this thing started real quick here. All right. All right, let's see. All right, first thing I want to show you is the uh, invoice for the repairs dated 11-9 uh, is when they got it done. It took them forever to get the parts. Um, crankshaft oil seal, um, oil pump seal, transmission cooler fittings and a transmission service. 
uh, diff uh, service, uh, $800. There'll be a link to all this stuff I'm showing you. This is the interesting thing. So underneath the truck, there's this sticker on the, on the rear end. That's on the truck. So I ran that through and found out that is what this is. Dana Spicer rear end. Housing, 7,600. That's the housing alone. Um, we don't know what the gearing is in it, but if a guy's gonna spend that kind of money on it, probably really good news. Um, this is the Link Ultra Ride. This is the part number, the model number on it. This is the Rush Center that we tried to send it to, but they're too busy to do it, to hook it back up. And here's the uh, picture of the, uh, of the uh, label, with a little metal label on it that I showed you under the truck. All right, here's the uh, auto check that they screwed up. Uh, ba -ba, there's your VIN. No major title brands, which is fine. No access. Damage found. They consider structural alterations uh, as part of that. Obviously, the truck's been altered suspension-wise. So it's not damage, it's alteration. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Then we have the uh, odometer. <laughs> so, here it is. 10... 10 of 22, 151,028. 10, 11 of 22. The next day, 15,128. They're missing a zero. So now the knuckleheads at our auto check think that is a rollback, right? When it's not. It's going to get fixed. I sent the title into auto check. They're fixing it. That is not a concern. Here is the actual title from Nevada. Um, this person, Joe Zolito, traded it into Friendly Ford with 151,028. And see these boxes? If it's not actual, they check the box. They didn't check the box because it's actual. And then Friendly Ford signed it off to Crosscut with 151028. And again, no boxes checked. So it's going to be fine. But you know, <laughs> always check what your always check what your uh, what your uh, miles are. Like when you go to emissions or whatever, double and triple check it because it's a pain in the ass to fix it. All right, number one good news. It's got a Mishimoto um, radiator. Very nice radiator, and it's nice and warm. I forgot that's not plastic. <laughs> um, someone put a new coolant bottle on it. Now, because it has no cat, it's obviously tuned, all right? So, someone's got a tune in it, and it runs great. This is one of the rare ones that has the dual alternators, right? See the EGR valve aftermarket? That's kind of cool too. Almost zero blow by. Just so you know, you got a Ford stamp here, so you got the original hood. You got the original fender, there's a Ford stamp there. Should be another one over here. Ford stamp there. Ford stamp here on the course work. So all the front end parts are original. That obviously matters because uh, that would tell you that they haven't wrecked it in the front end, right? Something happened to that driver door, but the driver door is nothing compared to the front, right? Forward, back, up. Oh, we've got to go down first, huh? Down, up, rear tilt up, rear tilt down, front up, front down. Some plat oh, those are seat plastics and stuff. You take the back seat out. There's your, oh crap, I got the locks on. All right. I'll just do it from the driver door. Yep, got the locks on. All right. And it sounds cool when you drive it. That, that exhaust sound is really cool. Let me that all right let's just go all the way around it again there's that window now the door locks or window locks are off I don't think I did this either there's that We've got a gooseneck rollover in the back there's that window I gotta pick up the pace here So yeah, we would love to have gotten that suspension hooked up, especially since it's not fun to drive without it. 
but uh, taking it off and putting uh, putting uh, regular suspension back on it, according to the guys at that rush center, would be a sin. They're like, do not do that. <laughs> Somebody's gonna love that truck when that's all hooked up right. We don't know why it's unhooked. Maybe a bag is torn or one of those air suspension bags is torn. We don't know. Um, but Monsoon did look at it and they said that uh, the compressor worked and they were gonna tear into it and then they realized that uh, it's an awfully heavy truck and they weren't sure if they wanted to put that on their lift because it was uh, might be a little too big for a regular lift, which I don't blame them. There's your pedals up and down, tilt wheel. All right, let me hop in here. Air conditioning's blowing ice cold, which is great. Aftermarket radio here. I don't know if this is hooked up to the ball. You know, it's not. So you need a one of those little adapters to get the radio to work to this or put a factory radio back in. You tilt this wheel down. All right, let's see, let me put it in a neutral. We're gonna go to four low. Four low right there. Holy crap, that's definitely granny gear. And reverse, that's in four low. Granny gear. All right, and then we're gonna go to See if I can get it into. There it is. There. Now it's four by four. Low is gone. I was pulling instead of pushing. Four high is that way, and I'm going this way. <laughs> That's called reading. You know, just have to look at the uh, at the uh, shifter to know which way to push. Had a tough time reading today bought a set of 17 inch wheels and said 18 on the box and I brought them home and I needed 17 so reading is not a strong suit today let's see windshield wipers um what else trailer stuff that's the ultra ride kit right here um you got dual tanks let's see that's one tank that's the other tank so the needles are moving um, I'm gonna have to put something in that hole for the gas until I find a until I find a uh, um, cap for it. That pisses me off. Somebody just walks away with our cap. There's your air up and down. Let's see from the steering fan up and down, temperature up and down. There you go. All right, let's see. That's tow haul right here. Boom. All right, let's go for a ride. Like I said. Basically, we're driving on zero suspension in a, uh, what is it, ton and a half truck. So, if you're going to drive this home, uh, bring a uh, mouthpiece. Uh, if you're going to if you're going to buy it from out of state, for sure, I would just have it shipped, uh, or call your chiropractor. Uh, like I said, our 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 ads are very honest. <laughs> we don't BS anybody ever. Um, I really wanted to put this, just go back to factory, but that guy made me feel really guilty. <laughs> like, God, it costs like thousand dollars to go back to factory and then I can, you know, drive it and not have my teeth fall out. He's like, don't do that, is what he said. So you'll never get your money back and you're going to regret it forever. So don't do that. Like, okay. Well, I won't regret it, but the next guy might regret it, not ever having it, so. All right, let's see. If you come to Tucson to drive it home, you're gonna pay the following. You're gonna pay your state tax rate plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock, no, no, fee, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive that payment by wire, we'll fill out the title, your name, your company's name and address. We will sign it off, scan it into your online file sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. We would scan in the envelope, we mail it in, okay? Um, if you need help with shipping, let me know. Like I said, this would be a long trip, and this thing 
with that no rear suspension in it, unless you have made plans to get it hooked up before you left, um, I wouldn't do that because you're definitely <laughs> you're gonna hate me by the time you get there. <laughs> You'll probably make it about 20 miles before before you quit. Um, uh, bu -bu -bu. Anyway, uh, also if you if you're an Arizona person, we are gonna add 550 for the uh, cat. That is mandatory. If you're from out of state, let us know if you want us to put a cat in the ex in the exhaust extension. If you don't, that's fine. If you're from California, guys, don't be stupid. If you think that your independent shop is just gonna you know pass you through and give you a pass, you better know for sure because if you call me bitching about not being able to get through emissions, I'm going to kill you. California is a maniac state. All right, a little smoother pavement here. This thing runs great. All right, well that guy's going about 30, which doesn't help, so let's pass him. This thing runs great. Really strong running truck. And really on this road, it's not too, too bad. But when you get on that, you know, that hard concrete pavement on the uh, on the interstate, that is not fun. So uh, anyway, last part of every video, I say this and I say it every single time. Um, please make sure that you realize this. We don't have salesmen, we don't have bottled water with our name on it, we don't have all the fancy stuff they have. All we have is the truth, okay? Uh, we give you the truth, and because we don't have all the bills to pay, we can sell you this truck cheaper than they can, all right? Now, in exchange for telling the truth to you and letting you know everything that we know about the truck, you are the owner on day one, and therefore you are fixing your truck when your truck breaks. Now. Engine-wise, transmission-wise, runs, shifts, and drives great. You have to get the suspension hooked up. Either go back to factory or get the, the aftermarket fixed or you'll kill yourself. <laughs> I mean, it is really annoying. So, now I've told you that. Uh, that's how we roll. We're not fixing anything from the day one on. You're the owner, all right? Uh, these videos can only be 17 minutes and 38 seconds. And, of course, I found traffic the whole way, so whatever anyway uh that's it thank you for your time